Hello girls. Shall we begin the class with a promise? This is a well-known psalm. Psalm 91. Psalm 91, 4. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. I repeat. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. God has promised to cover us with his wings and provide a refuge under his wings. He has promised to keep our life from all harm and danger, to protect our minds from discouragement and despair and to safeguard our hearts with his perfect peace. So I just want to say that amidst calamities, lockdown, the COVID crisis, God gives us an assurance. He says that He is our refuge and under His wings we can be very safe. So let us cling on to God and be safe under the wings of our Lord. Have a blessed week girls. Shall we start with today's class? I've been dealing with the second chapter, National Income. National Income, we saw the meaning, we saw the basic concepts, we saw the methods of calculating National Income. Today, let us see National Income in terms of US dollars. You can find this on page number 31. Page number 31. 2.8.4 Okay, page number 31, 2.8.4 National income in terms of US dollars. When Indian national income is expressed in terms of US dollars, the former looks very low. Are you able to understand? When we uh, convert our currency to US dollars, it looks very low. Because the exchange rate as of now, if you give 75 rupees, you get $1. So to get $1, we need to pay 75 rupees. Our currency rate is very, very low when compared to US dollar. So when we convert our national income, which is expressed in rupees, to US dollars, okay? You, when we convert our Indian rupees to US dollar, the national income of India looks very low because we have to divide the national income by 75 rupees. That means our national income when compared to US dollars will look very, very low. Did you understand the point? When the Indian national income is expressed in terms of US dollars, the national income of India will look very low. In case we use the purchasing power parity method, our national income will look better. So there is a new concept here, purchasing power parity. So I want to make one thing very clear here that national income can be calculated at the present exchange rate and national income can be cal uh, ca calculated using the purchasing power parity. So national income can be calculated in two ways. One is the prevailing market rate and the second one is the purchasing parity Purchasing Power Parity, PPP. So let me explain this concept. Purchasing Power Parity. Purchasing Power Parity. So to calculate Purchasing Power Parity, we have a formula. Cost of good X in currency 1. That is, we are making a comparison between two con uh, countries. Cost of good X in currency 1 divided by cost of good X in currency 2. 
the good is the same but we are using two currencies currency one and currency two so let me explain it further purchasing power parity purchasing power parity so what do you mean by purchasing power it means the buying capacity purchasing power is the buying capacity so what is parity parity means equal we are comparing two equals here so purchasing power of parity means comparing two equals a country's national income can be calculated based on the market determined exchange rate as i've already told the exchange rate is a dollar or through the purchasing power parity so national income can be calculated based on market determined exchange rate that is the present currency rate the dollar rate and the second one is through the purchasing power parity so here we need to compare a country's national income with another country's national income we are uh, comparing for example we are comparing india and usa so we are going to compare the national income of two countries hence we need to have a common currency we can uh, cannot compare indian rupees and dollar we have to convert both the currency into a same uh, currency uh, for example if we take dollar we take uh, dollar because it's a very common currency since uh, dollar is the most accepted currency in the world it's very common that's why we take uh, into consideration dollar so what are we going to do here we are going to compare the national income of two countries for that we have to convert it into us dollars let me explain this with an example here what do you mean by purchasing power parity for example can you see here let me explain this with an example suppose if you take a price of pen in usa a price of pen will cost Two dollars, okay. The same price of pen in India is ninety rupees. Do you understand this? The price of pen in USA is two dollars. The same pen in the Indian market is ninety rupees. So from this you can calculate cost of good X in currency one by cost of good X in currency two is rupees forty five. That means. by this method the purchasing power parity 1 dollar is equal to 45 rupees so according to the purchasing power parity 1 dollar is equal to 45 rupees but initially what did i say as of now the exchange rate is 75 rupees okay 75 rupees uh, as of today our exchange rate against dollar against indian rupee is 75 so when you calculate national income in today's rate how will you calculate national income divided by the present current market rate that is national income divided by rupees 75 so you will get a very less amount of national income when you do it with the purchasing power parity national income divided by what is the purchasing power parity 45 so national income divided by 45 will be greater when compared to the calculation done by the present market exchange rate are you able to understand so when national income is expressed in terms of us dollar the national income of india will look very low if purchasing power parity method is used that is if the dollar rate equivalent is rupees 45 as given in the example the national income will be greater so the national income express in terms of us dollar will look low whereas when you use the purchasing parity method india will look better in the gdp as of now india's gdp is much better it is lesser than usa and china but it is well ahead when compared to other european countries when you calculate national income in terms of purchasing power parity so this is a concept that you have to understand national income in terms of us dollar next we have social and environmental cost while producing economic goods many environmental and social bads are also generated hence they also must be considered while enumerating national income for example you we have lots of factories 
when we use factories for production process uh, some uh, pollutants are being released from the factories which is very hazardous and cr creates great damage for the uh, environment to the people living around the factories so while producing economic goods many environmental and social bads are also generated so while calculating national income we have to subtract all these hence they also must be considered while enumerating national income and they have to be subtracted from the national income